Right now, I'm gonna show you how to remove a oil filter. Uh, oil filter housing or oil filter cap to get to the filter itself. So first thing what I'm gonna do is take this cap off. The filter, the cap has two parts. The main cap and this is to drain to relieve the pressure from a filter. So we have less oil leakage. It's not even you don't even need that long, it should not be even tight at all. So I'm going to put a container underneath it. Uh, guess I need something better than... As you can see, I keep, well, I'm doing it with my hand, so it's not... So we'll see if anything is... No oil is dripping or running, so that means the filter was installed properly. So, next step is to uh, relieve the pressure. This piece here, I'm not sure if you can see or not, it comes with a filter. It's made for this purpose. Do you have to remove that, uh, that like a bolt from here? My recommendation, yes, every oil change because between uh, there is the, the, there's things or old oil gets trapped inside there and you know it's not good when you start circulating all the new so I'm gonna push this in it's running slowly so it has to be pushed in all the way right there well, because I'm holding it, so it relieves the pressure. It's running everywhere on my hands. But at least the pressure is going to be released and it won't be running when you are when you are removing the housing, oil filter housing, the cap itself. So next step is to get the, the filter cap itself. So now I'm moving this piece and I'm going to actually dump it because I'm going to throw it away anyways. There is no oil leaking, so as you can see, all came out nice. And actually, not all the oil got drained. So, for the future reference, keep the 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 plastic white thing inside until all the oil comes out. So this is it. This is the cartridge itself. Now I'm gonna remove this uh, wrench. I'm going to show you how to remove this wrench. Use a screwdriver. Get inside those, get inside the holes. And just slowly, don't rush. You don't want to break things. If you think the cartridge is in the way, you can remove it or leave it. When you remove, just careful. So I'm going to set it to the side, not to disturb that little, this piece here. I'll show you why. Okay, now it's coming off. See, just 
just a little bit pride, you don't have to put excessive force. Because excessive force on plastic, as you know, don't, don't work too well. So, there is some oil inside, I don't know if you can see or not, but right there. It's not dripping, because there is a valve. <clears throat> it's, it's not supposed to. And uh, here is the O-ring, gonna, I'm going to show you. Every oil change, you're supposed to replace this O-ring. And there is an O-ring there. Okay, now, how oil leaking. So, uh, sometimes, if you're not careful, this piece comes out. And, uh, let, me, let me pull it out. If dust comes out accidentally, what, what can you do? How can you put it back together? I'm going to show you the steps. So, basically, this is what it is. It comes out. There is two little pieces inside. See this tab? This little tab? This tab is per, uh, perpendicular with this. So, it's not 90 degree up. It's perpendicular with this surface uh, when it comes out. So, to, to get it back in, you push it in and twist it to the left. And then what you have to do, bend uh, to step back. I'm gonna show you. So this does not come out. So here is the layout. Here is the spring that I was talking about. And there is this metal piece. So the way, you see, it plugs the hole. This is how it's supposed to all put back together. Bottom, flash with the filter, and then this piece sits on the top of it. And then when you push it in, twist it, and then unbend the tabs, careful not to break them, to lock it in place. Because if you don't, there is a chance when you screw in the case or the cap on with a filter, it might actually come off because it gets pushed in. So make sure you uh, don't forget to do that. And if you're not sure if you put this back together or not, when everything back in, so I'm gonna put it back. As I showed you in my hands. Left, push it in to the left, turn it clockwise to remove it and then to put it back on. You do opposite. Well whatever works, you can try it. Uh, try it, see if it if it works or not for you. And uh, if you, to find out if you did it correctly or not, pour some oil. If you did it correctly, oil will not, uh, I guess next steps I will show you uh, replacing the oven. This is a screwdriver, don't scratch anything or, you know, don't brush. Every oil change, this should come out, should be replaced actually, with a fresh one. Same thing with this one here. Always use the fresh O-rings, they come with a filter. Fresh O-ring is, is a guarantee, not gonna have leaks. And if you try to reuse, trying to be cheap or rush, be in a hurry, you know, you're gonna find yourself redoing things again or taking it to the shop so here's the o-rings they come too as a kit the filter itself is uh, I'm surprised cheap it's like five dollars something at the dealership genuine Toyota oil filter so don't even waste your time and money buying aftermarket so I'm gonna throw this one away I'm gonna put this over Make sure to put it in the right place. If you don't, then it's not going to work as intended. So now the overing is there, not here, but here. This is what keeps from leaking. This overing, not uh, torquing it to the extremes where it breaks things. And before I put this back, I'm going to lubricate with oil, so it goes in smoothly and without uh, breaking anything, without breaking the seal. Then I'm gonna put here the smaller one over. So this actually before I do put 
O-rings, I'm gonna push those tabs out so the this part, this little piece does not come would not come up. Just gently put. I don't know if you can see or not. Just bend them out a little bit. That's it. Now if I try to remove, push on it. Yeah, to to remove or to push to install it, you have to push on it. Now pushing on it would not let it come out. So now it's safe. So, next step is the O-ring. We install brand new, fresh O-ring. It's clean and spotless. And take, double, take a look. If it's you know dirty, disassemble everything, clean it. This is the sec. Uh, this is the second time I'm doing it. So just for uh, recording purposes. Uh, before it was so dirty inside with dirt and oil. I ended up. Uh, I ended up. Cleaning with gasoline, disassemble and cleaning everything with gasoline to keep it clean and nice. So, being said, now I can put this thing on. Well, actually, before I put this thing on, I'm gonna put some oil to demonstrate. And this is what I'm using. I'm using, you might not agree, but to the best that's available out there. So, I'm gonna push some in just enough. So it's all covered there. You don't have to drain it back or anything. Right there, it's not leaking. That means you, that little valve, the little piece with the spring was attached correctly. So now what I'm gonna do is dip my finger inside there. Put some uh, lubricated O-ring. Put this cap or the bolt, whatever you wanna call it. And I will make sure it's it's torqued or you know make sure it's tight enough right on the vehicle. I'll show you. So next step is to put this filter. How does the filter goes in? Just like that. You slide it and it comes out. Just gonna double check. Make sure everything is all right. Yep, it's all good and perfect. I put the filter on. There is some oil there. It's not going to hurt anything. It actually will help. Uh, next step, I'm going to put some lubricate up there. And I always use the clean oil. You know, I don't skip steps. I don't try to be cheap. You know what I mean when it comes to oil. This oil helps to it helps to seal uh, seals any seals to swell up. When they swell up, use enough oil keeps the keeps the oil from leaking out. Okay. So now we're gonna get underneath the car and install the filter. So it's all good. Perfect. Well, let's go and install it. Now I'm back. Climbing underneath the vehicle. Let's see if I can get the camera to a better position so you guys can see. It. Try not to create too much dust. So, this is it. Put it there. It doesn't really matter how you put the cartridge, which, which side. They're both the same side. It's both the same property. So, that's how you, you know, pretty easy, straightforward. So I'm gonna get the oil filter, this thing on.
with my 27 socket and just gently screw it on till it goes over, you know, it's when it's all That's it. I'm gonna take this filter off, filter branch off. It's always there, always again. There's a little tab here. Uh, I don't know if you can see from the video that keeps the filter in place. Uh, from, I guess, as a safety measure, I don't know if you can see or not, make sure when you take it off or, or put it back on, it's not in the way, just, you know, don't rush, take your time. Uh, now, I'm gonna make sure this is all the way in. I don't wanna have any surprises. And like I said, what holds it, what holds It's not how tight, it's the seal itself. So I'm not even applying too much pressure. I'll double check my... That's it. It's all, it's all perfect, perfectly sitting. Just, you know, it's not like your conventional oil filter, it has to be, you know, super, kind of, I'm all super tight too. Uh, I'm going to add, what came out is about half a quart, so I'm going to put back about half a quart, a little bit less, because my oil level was at a high. I don't want it high, it should be a little bit less, so I'm going to put about one third or two thirds of a half a quart but you know if you got you can if you can do this that's part then you can do it the rest of it. it's not a not a difficult task so take your time and don't rush uh, yeah I'm gonna start let it run double check make sure nothing's leaking and put the shield back on so I don't know if you can see this the from the grease my when I mentioned previously because of this what happens when you apply grease then it comes off easily okay thanks have fun and don't rush.